Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, no matter where in this wonderful world you might be. Thank you for making the Highbury Squad part of your day. It's talented season, it's talented Gooners season two, and I couldn't be more happy to introduce episode one and a brilliant guest. Here we go. Mind the gap between the train and the platform. Please stand clear of the discussion doors. The next stop is Highbury Squad. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Season 2, Episode 1 of Talented Gooners. Um, Yes, we're back and we're back to showcase some of our fantastic artists and talent, of course, within the Arsenal community. I've long admired this fella's work. Llewellyn Art, welcome to Squad Central. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> at ease, Llewellyn. Thank you very at much. Ease. Thank you. Now, you don't have it's it's not pronounced any differently. I didn't butcher your name at all, did I? No, no, no. So okay. my first my first name's Dell. Um and I decided oh. to go with, that's right, yeah. So so I decided to go with Luan Illustrations as I felt it rolled off the tongue. Um, a lot of people struggle with that. So I probably need to change that at some point. Um, but yeah, Llewellyn said in English, that's absolutely perfect. In the, <laughs> in the Welsh that... tongue, it's, uh, it's like Llewellyn or Llewellyn. I'm, I'm, not I'm not going to attempt that Welsh accent, you, but see filed under right. things I should ask my guests before I hit the record <laughs> button. <laughs> that's oh, right. Thank Thanks so much for joining. Um, I've been sharing your art with uh, my partner and my cousin last night, and they yeah. were blown away. Uh, and I can't wait to hear your story of where it all started and, you know, talking us through some of your pieces and stuff. Yeah. Where where did, let's start with the very, very beginning, the love affair with Arsenal and then how, you know, you developed the love for art and where that all kind of kicked in. Um, I mean, in regards to Arsenal, it's the team that I've supported since I was a kid. Um, my mum supported them. Uh, and it's just one of those things you just you grew into. Um, I think my first early memories, I think, was... I got confused. I kept getting them mixed up between um, so when Arsenal beat Palmer 1-0 and Steve Morrow got dropped. But that was obviously... It was at the <laughs> FA Cup or before. And I was young. I was, what, eight or nine at that point? So... Um, I used to get confused all the time with that. And then That's hilarious. Yeah. And then another, and then literally the year after, doesn't it? We got into the, the UEFA Cup semi for, uh, for the final. And then David Seaman got lobbed by Naeem. I just oh. remember that, 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 that's, uh, that still brings Who back invited you? Why'd you have to bring that up? <laughs> <laughs> you asked about how it all started. And it was just one of those things that just always gives me flashbacks. Um, and I remember just crying to my Arsenal duvet for days on end, I think. Um, and then, yeah, just, you know, Grew up, just carried on supporting the Arsenal. Didn't manage to go and see them a few times when I was younger, just not not as much as as I'd like to anymore. But so you got to experience Highbury, which is very yeah, cool. yeah, absolutely a fair few times. Went to Arsenal Spurs a couple of times. Um, but I was young, so I was with my dad. So uh, I was probably are you born? Are you a, a born bit. and are you a born and bred North Londoner? No, 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 no. I uh, so I was born in Salisbury. Then I've lived, um, because my dad was in the forces, we moved to Germany. So I spent the first few years of my life, um, yeah, over there until I was about five or six. And then we came back and I've always lived sort of um, about two hours away from London. Um, never really been closer than that. So obviously the commute can be a bit of a pain. <laughs> um, and obviously, yeah. So yeah, I haven't managed to go as much as often as what I'd like, but hopefully that will change soon. Yeah, definitely. So you grew, um, grew. By the way, very well done of following in your parents' footsteps. I would have, but I kind of, I'm glad I didn't because my dad's a Manchester United supporter, and a lot of people say to me, "How, how is that possible? You know, how does that happen?" And I think, yeah. you know, growing up, it was easier for my cousins to grab me and take me, you know, to um, Highbury versus my my dad, who absolutely had zero interest in sports. <laughs> Yeah. Um, but a lot of people in his generation, you know, followed Georgie Best, didn't they? Of course, uh, yeah. The so, yeah. Um, so then you developed a love for art. So yeah. Tell me about that a little bit. I've always been just one of those kids that would just draw everywhere. Um, it was just my my natural sort of thing. Um, 
even in classes, I used to get told off all the time, just to climb there doodling in my book. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> I would, I'd get in so much trouble. Um, yeah, so I always drew GCSEs and all that stuff, what, 2001. Um, done it, and that's, that's my only art education. Um, but one thing I didn't actually send over. Um, so when I was, I think it was nine, I obviously my love affair of Arsenal was already was already there. So I started to draw the Arsenal players. Um, they're terrible, so don't get too excited. Um, but I drew them. So I started a couple, and then my parents went, "Why don't you draw them all and send them to Arsenal?" And I did, and they all got signed. No. Um, yeah. So maybe I was always born to do memorabilia. I don't know. Um, that is so epic. But they are bad. So. As Ian Wright. Oh, I love <laughs> it. it. Yeah. Kind of got that bobblehead vibe to yeah, it. Yeah, it was like the Corinthian sort of thing. <laughs> yeah. David Seaman, obviously my hero. Um, oh, and yeah, man. Yeah, it was just after um, Super Kev had left, I think. So I think, it's, I think I sent them in 95 and got them back in 96. Like, That's like, amazing. Five later, Show me so. one more up close. Come on, let's see that righty uh, one up close. You want to write your one? What yeah, I don't you... get is I've done drawings on the back. It's so embarrassing, but... <laughs> Where are we? That there we go. Is there so is. Look at that. And I've done like oh my random God, cartoons it. on the back. I've no idea why. And I got my little letter from them with my with my name spelt wrong as well. So don't worry. Who signed the letter back then? Then Who... uh, that was that was Bruce Rioch. Oh wow. Yeah, and I, I think that's Stu a collector's Houston. item. Yeah, so I've got I've got the whole <laughs> I've got the whole squad apart from um, John Jensen, Eddie McGoldrick, and Dennis Burkamp. Wow. I've got like Tony Adams, Bold, Dixon, Winterburn. Wow, you should frame those puppies because the way your career is going, those will be collectible pieces. Yeah, oh, that's a good point. I've got them in a little folder. So, um, nice. Yeah, they're, they're nice and safe. And uh, yeah, definitely keep hold of them, pass them down. Maybe. Absolutely love it. So, you, <laughs> in, in your creative brain, you knew back then. I mean, isn't it, isn't it a wonderful thing to marry your passion with your profession? You it know, is, someone. Yeah. Someone wise once told me, if you can make and turn your passion into your pro profession, you'll live a very happy life. Yeah. I mean, I, mean, I didn't draw at all from leaving school until I was 32. You know, adult life, you, you've got to go and do stuff and be a bit of a scallywag and, you know, <laughs> and, and, you, and, you do, and, you, and you work and you get involved. Obviously, you got to work and your money. You never really think that art's going to. Um, ever you know come to anything and then mm. yeah 32 I started drawing again realized that it was something that I just had this talent for you know it still weren't great it's taking a lot of practice but yeah I just went for it and then quit my job and then decided to go full-time as an artist and you then might, what, now. what were you doing um... so originally so I was a recruitment consultant um, when I first started drawing again and then realized I wanted to become an artist mm -hmm. and I knew that I couldn't just do that like take that risk and you know jump straight into it full time so i became a postman and then you know worked till two o'clock every day and then just worked my craft and then just set up a little facebook page got a few commissions joined cats and dogs and the milkman's goldfish and, <laughs> and, and and it just slowly slowly progressed and and the whole football thing actually was a bit of an accident really i didn't i didn't i wasn't the direction i was planning to go in because i just didn't think it was something that i'd be able to get to um but luckily Tyrone Mings was from my town. Um where I'm nine years or nine or ten years older than him, but I managed to get like access to him and I done a pic I've done a drawing of him. He loved it. Went on social media, everyone loved it. Well, most people I think. Um and then Tyrone commissioned me. Wow. And then and then it snowballed Eddie and Ketia and Harry Clark and and then yeah, and it's just gone from there really. So how long ago was that with um, Tyrone? Uh, Tyrone would have probably been about three years ago. I went full time four years ago. Like, wow. yeah, so just got just got my four year anniversary. I think so. Congratulations! Yeah. That is a Thank great ha that's a great happy accident, and really that's how it happens. Like for a yeah artist, you know, um, my dad never wanted me to work in the film industry. He's like, you need to be an accountant or a lawyer or a doctor or <laughs> yeah. You know, typical Greek, uh, typical of parents, I think. Yeah. And um, artists in particular, I mean, you really have to persevere. And did you ever think before it got to that phase, did you feel like this moment could happen? Or were you kind of, were you an optimist or a pessimist? Um, oh, I'm always optimistic, always. Mm -hmm. 
but um, I always like. I'm a, I'm, op, I'm optimistic, but I'm a very critical thinker in terms. I've always demand more for myself, so I never, I never expected that I'd go on this direction and get this far. But I wasn't mm. going to stop until I'd done absolutely everything in my power to make the whole thing work. I mean, just on the on the personal side, like me and my wife, we downsized into a one bedroom house because we knew that the money coming in was going to be rubbish. Like I wouldn't even make <laughs> enough money to to um you know pay the bills. So luckily, I had savings when I was supposed to, but um. You know, we downsized and stuff. We sold things to make it work. Um, and I did. Wow. And it slowly started to get to where I wanted to be. So, uh, well, yeah. Let's let's see. Let's check this out. Um, squaddies, you're going to absolutely love this. Uh, make sure that you give the follow uh, at the bottom there. Uh, we've got uh, uh, your handle and we'll get to yep. all that towards the end of the show. But, I mean, things really take off and this happens. Mm. Uh, and then this happens. So yeah. let's get back to this point. And <laughs> this is amazing. Seriously. Thank I, you. I'm so blown away. It just looks like a black and white photo. It's incredible. Thank you. I mean, you're so talented. Talk talk us through arson and then, my goodness, what this moment must have felt like. Uh, yeah so the, the the actual arson venger drawing was just something i just felt like i just felt like doing um it'd come to the end of last year and everything that i was booked in to do um was done and i thought well i need to keep myself busy so why not draw arson venger so i spent about 100 hours i think drawing him and then i posted it online and obviously then it got shared by arsenal which is great um and then somebody on twitter was he'd won a raffle and was going to have dinner with Arsene Wenger and he messaged me saying look would you mind if I showed it to him and I was like yeah go for it let me know and then next year now I had he said look the, his, uh, Arsene's PA wants to speak to you and then I spoke wow. to somebody I spoke to somebody at FIFA which was just really surreal um, and then yeah we organised because I want to meet him can he sign some prints for me as well um, and yeah then we decided to meet at Soccer Aid so I went to Soccer Aid and met him there and how was that? Yeah. I, I mean, he's such a lovely man to meet. I mean, he's, as we know, I mean, he's a legend for us. And despite yeah. how things ended, he is the man that, you know, George Graham transformed Arsenal in a certain way. Arsene Wenger yeah. transformed Arsenal in English football in many Absolutely. ways. Absolutely. Yeah. And so what's he say to you when he, <laughs> when he. <laughs> he's like, hello, Del. Um, <laughs> that was terrible. Sorry. Uh, yeah. No, he, uh, so he just gave us that. And he was aware of roughly aware of who I was and that I had some artwork and then took us into the main reception and then we started signing prints and then I took the original out and he was just there for a good minute or so just mm -hmm. going through all the all the details and that um and yeah he was really complimentary and then signed it signed one for me which you can see just behind me that's so personalized oh. um and that's it I only managed about 15 minutes with him because obviously he had a quite a busy schedule um but I just asked him you know Obviously, I was just said, oh, thank you for 22 years of my life. You're amazing. <laughs> um, uh, but do you know what? I wasn't that much of a fanboy. I was actually really... Oh, well cool. done. Well done, I was. Del. I was cool, calm and collected. I, to be fair, I thought you'd be nervous meeting me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there was there was one moment where he was just signing it. I sort of just went tunnel vision. And I could feel like the sweat's coming. I was like, oh, no. Um, but I managed to phase out of that. But um, I asked nice. him a few, a few questions, like your greatest moment. Um of course, the Invincibles is obviously fantastic. And his his uh, biggest regret, um, managed to ask them, and actually it was subbing Perez off in the Champions League final. That's that Everyone regrets it. that one. Yeah, oh, God. Perez is not shy about talking about that either. No, yeah. no, I, I don't blame him, to be fair. Um, yeah. But yeah, so that, that was that. And yeah, we just sort of shook hands. It was really cool because obviously the whole lobby was packed for the people from Soccer Aid. And then obviously we stood up and had the photo and you hear everyone just, oh, my God, it's amazing, it's awesome. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, what a it great, great moment! Brilliant. It really was, and I think I just I sat in the car and just had a moment to myself for driving two and a half hours back. Met Joel Bayer; he was um, in the car park. Met him as well. Had a good chat with him. Um, but yeah, what a, what a great what, experience! What an ex what a, yeah, absolutely. As an Arsenal fan, I mean, we're going to show some other paintings too that are non-Arsenal. But as an Arsenal fan, to have yeah. that moment—that's amazing. So. Yeah. Um, your Arsenal collection so far is quite incredible. 
before Thank I you. show a few other bits, how do you decide who to paint? Like what's, <laughs> is it an inspirational kind of it? You just feel it? Do you plan yeah. it? What? Yeah, always. Well, you know, whenever I choose uh, to draw a footballer, it has to capture me. Um, and like it's obviously ones we'll, we'll, we'll see in a minute. It's just some so Bakayo Saka. There was just when I saw that image, I just instantly just loved it. Um, it was just a case of you know the, the dark background, the rain. How can you get the sweat on there? And it was, and it was a challenge as well. And you know, so I, I think it just shows like you know he's in the zone. And it just it just ticked a few boxes for me. You know, the name on the back as well. Um, yeah, this is really, really ridiculous. Like Thank this you. Is, honestly. The the detail is absolutely mind blowing. Thank you. Incredible. So that's um that's predominantly charcoal actually. Really? Uh, how, yeah, how char charcoal and graphite. How long did this take you? Um, that took me. I'd say cause it's a bit smaller than my usual ones. This was um an A three, so I think that took me around about sixteen to seventy hours. Um, I I smashed that one out pretty quick. <laughs> I just got in the zone, and sometimes I can just sit here for. It's, it's hours really, at a time. It really captures, you know what I love about your paintings? You really feel energy from them. The energy mm -hmm. is incredible. Yeah. You know, like there's something happening. Like I, I looked at them the other day, then I looked at them this morning. And every time I look at them, I feel a different emotion. And it's as an artist, it's a beautiful thing to be able to project that to yeah. the person who's on the other side, you know, because yeah, definitely you feel that through, through your work. Um, this one is also amazing. Uh, talk me through Jesus. Who's yeah, me just, he, in. yeah, me just, you know, he's superb, isn't he? You know, he's brought another mm. dimension to our attack. I know he hasn't scored too much at the moment, but he's, you know, he is a, a great player. And the, ce the celebration is, of course, iconic um, for his own reasons. Um, and I just thought it would just, you know, it, it was in a good moment. You know, the fans were loving it. I thought, do you know what? Why not give it, give it, give it a go? And I just, I just thought it just captured him nicely, um, and it was something slightly different. I always try and do things that are slightly different. You uh -huh. know, I don't try and just do box hand. So I thought this was, you know, slightly more of a profile, more of a detailed, blurry background. Obviously, the tattoo on the arm as well. Um, yeah, it was just something that was just slightly different, and so, something that so I thought Dale, that he would where, like. Uh, where, where do you start here with this one in particular? Like the Saka one, you know. Yeah. There's so much detail uh, in 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 his hair, in the sweat, in those pieces. Yeah. When you've got background to deal with, as well. Where did you start here? Which how did how do you begin? Oh, so obviously once you've gridded it all out and you got your proportions right, you then just um, for me because I'm right-handed, I usually sort of go from like your top left sort of down to your bottom right. Um, mm. So um, and obviously it's quite important to make sure you get at least a bit of the background around the whole subject. So that you can then just focus on the subject and you can make those lines nice and crisp to make him bring into the foreground. So I done all the left hand side of the background. Then I made a start on on Jesus with a little bit of the background around his his well, our right hand side. Mm -hmm. Um and then once I finished him, then I'd done the rest of the background and there's done the bottom as well. I'm really clumsy, I'm so smudgy. Um, really? So it sort of works. If I go left to right, then it just it just works for me. Um, wow! I've I've ruined a few. Well, not ruined, but caused myself a few headaches in the past. So it seems to work. How long did this one take? Probably. Uh, well, that was that was bigger, so it was double the size of Saka, um, and the background was a bit more challenged. So I'd probably say it was around about eighty odd, maybe ninety. And do you spread it across? Like once you get into it, is it a daily thing, or do you take yeah. a break? And then no, I, I'm no, no. I I I like to focus on one one thing at a time because mm. i think for me like you sort of get into the feel of what materials you're using how much you how what your pressures are your mediums and stuff like that so i think if you try and stick to the one you, you, you you're going to be you, you, you'll stay on the same track you know whereas if you then try and jump to another one at the same time you'll then be using it'll be slightly like a lighter portrait maybe and you'll be using different gradients of pencil and so yeah stick to the one amazing as a short well, answer <laughs> I, I love I love that you are also a huge supporter of our Arsenal women and absolutely Leah has become a hero. Yeah, not only you know as a gooner but also capturing the moment as captain. Yeah, um, what a moment for her! 
this is just a really beautiful piece. I mean, she is stunning anyway. Um, but again, this captures kind of a really happy place for her. Yeah. Uh, was oh, this absolutely. right yeah. after the Euros or did you do No, this no. I, I'd done it just before the, their new kit launch. <laughs> um, oh, wow. I was, yeah. So I, but I, just, you know, I just thought it was something that I had a bit of, I had a bit of time um, in between just the, uh, the other commercial work that I do. And just, um, I just I just saw that image and just chose it and thought it was really nice and it complimented yeah. her. Um, and I say, you've got a feel for it. Um, and yeah. Yes, uh, that was that piece. really. I, I was I, I wanted to do one of her. There's a, there's a black and white picture of her with the the trophy, isn't there? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And I, I keep on looking at it thinking, do you know what? That'll be really. Oh, it's a hell of a challenge. So maybe, 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 maybe Leah might reach out to me and go, "Dale, you're the man. I want you to draw this picture." <laughs> like, yeah, no worries. Well, hope, <laughs> hopefully, because this next um, subject did uh, respond and. Mm. Our beloved Arsenal Football Club also utilised this in yep. a social media post the other day. When you talk about a redemption story this year and someone who maybe two seasons ago, not many people would have been interested in a Xhaka painting. <laughs> but this is his iconic celebration. Yeah. And again, capturing the happy Xhaka that everybody's seen, you know, in this this season. Yeah. Uh, why, why Xhaka? Why now for all the reasons I've said or... Exactly that. You know, you look at what, you know, uh, what happened a couple of seasons ago and, you know, he was out. You know, let's face it, he was off. He was off to Roma. Um, but the turnaround has been, has been incredible. And he's finally receiving the love from the fans. And I feel that image there just shows that, you know, he's taken in the love. He's given the love back. And it just, it just, yeah, it just, I saw that image and it just spoke volumes to me. And I thought if I can draw this and get it done in a good time scale, it's going to be really well received by everybody because he's playing so well, um, mm. you know, and even in his interviews, he's spoken very honestly about his relationship with the fans and what he wants from the club and his love for the club as well. And I just think that, you know, he's now got to a place where he's, yeah, he's getting all the plaudits and he's playing probably the best football that he's played for us because he's in a maybe new position and a bit more freedom. Um, and yeah, I, I, I like, I've always liked Jacka, which will probably get me some grief, but, um, <laughs> but I, I always thought he was a good player. He just wasn't utilized and his faults were being made to, were being highlighted a lot more um, because he wouldn't play into his strengths, which is what's happening now. And I think, I think we're getting the best ground at Jacka. So I'm all for it. And now he's my best mate anyway. Can he comment on a post and, and stuff like so that? How, so how, that's so, I mean, look, acknowledgement is very important. You've sure, got a yeah. lot of hours, sweat and uh, into these pieces and acknowledgement in any profession is yeah. so important. Mm -hmm. So not only did Xhaka acknowledge it, but the club did too. So what, how are you buzzing right after? Are you? I, 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 I was buzzing for about three days. Um, so I think, <laughs> yeah, he posted it on the Saturday, then Arsenal posted it on the Monday um obviously your phone's going mental um i probably had too many beers on a saturday celebrating um but yeah it was it's, it's great and that's and that's just what you want isn't it you know is that whoever you're drawing whoever the, the subject is you want them to be able to go that's great thank you so much um and and yeah obviously and the fact that granite done that um you know i've all you know he's got 2.2 million followers and stuff like that and yet he's seen my posts um that Amazing. may have been down to his, his management team sharing it first maybe i don't know but um yeah it's it's really cool um makes you and it makes who, you who's, yeah who's next are you allowed to tell me or well arsenal wise yeah arsenal -wise, arsenal -wise. i've got i've got a few um commercial bits i've got to do first which is okay. probably taking the best part of a month but i do want to possibly i i'm obviously i'm, I'm a goalkeeper um so and I, and I think Aaron Ramsdale was doing superbly well, oh. and he's a character, um, and that kit will be a pain as well. So <laughs> I, I think I think um, yeah, I think I think Aaron Ramsdale could be the one. I also want to try and do the away kit as well at night. I think the whole mm. darkness and the, the, you got to get nice, some really nice. subtle change in the tones. Maybe do the logos in gold. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, when once we know, we'll uh, we'll let the squaddies know as well. Absolutely. Um, Thank so you. speaking of acknowledgement, um, the next the next one is amazing because okay, this again, incredible. The beard, you know, the yeah. neck. Uh and then you also uh drew Messi with uh the Copa America yeah. 
and and he I have the picture. Where's that picture? Mm. Dang. It should be here somewhere. I sent I sent over a few to be fair. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> no, no, no. So there's a picture. Um I'll I'll get it. I'll put it up. Um I'll I'll edit I'll put it in of Messi cool. with the painting. Um, which is incredible. Yeah. How did that happen? So uh, I believe it was 2020, just after I'd done work for the um, Premier League, uh, I got approached by someone who works with memorabilia, who had contacts with a company called Icons Memorabilia, and that's who I work with now. Um, and they have exclusive license, I believe, with Messi. So they were like, well, we want to work with you. Do you fancy drawing Messi and it'll be getting signed by him? Yes, please. Nice. Um, so I think he signed five of my portraits now, five of the originals and, and multiple prints as well. Um, and yeah, that's that's, that's cool. I, I mean, I never want to draw that trophy again. <laughs> I think I mean, it took how... it took me about ten days. I think. Wow! And how many hours just to draw the trophy? Oh, I'd probably say a good sixty, because wow, yeah. I mean, I, I remember that one took me well over a hundred. Well over 100, 125, I think, I r- roughly. I've got quite a really good schedule. Um, and I'm very strict with it. I just mm. love what I do and, I'm, you know, it's my job. So um, I can roughly gauge how many hours it takes. It will take a little bit. Um, but, yeah, that was a hell of a challenge because of the trophy, you know. But it's one of those things. It's one of those, yeah, you love it and you hate it at the same time. My language is probably very colourful when I was drawing that. I was going to say, like, do you get frustrated a lot just because it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I hold myself to high standards, and I think that's the only way you're going to improve in anything that you do. Um, so, yeah, I can get a bit sweary. My dog sometimes runs. <laughs> He's like, oh, no. <laughs> but <laughs> but I'm used to it now, and I know what to do when that happens. Go a quick little walk or whatever, take the dog out. So, yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Um, then this course fella who's very popular with the young kids, yeah old Grealish he? yeah yeah old Grealish yeah um and let's see we have I found a few pictures that you sent to me on Twitter that uh yes I did not yeah I I, I downloaded the um the main that's the cool. main yeah the main file but uh I want to show everyone the one where it all started as well so one that you were talking about at the very top of the show which is uh this yes one. yep um very nice yeah very nice indeed so this is him through the ages huh yeah so you know yeah i think it was just after so i drew, I drew him just after he signed for um aston villa on a permanent deal and they obviously got promoted and it's like look you know we're from the same town he was rejected at southampton just obviously the bottom image and then he's like yates chippenham um switch yeah. Bournemouth and so on and so forth and I, it was my idea and I said look I think it, I think this is a really good new thing I haven't seen much of it in the art world so I thought well, here's a concept do you want me to do it yes please will you pay me I'll pay you yeah <laughs> um and and then I done it and then obviously part of the agreement was just like look can you help me out on social media he done that and then it just led to more footballers contacting me which was great very, very cool. And mm. here's the one that you mentioned too of uh, Eddie. Yeah, Eddie. Um, yeah. yeah, he actually messaged me the other day just to saying that congratulations on being, um, you know, being on Arsenal's page again. Um, he's yeah, he's he's a such a Amazing. sound lad. Yeah, and it was a, yeah, exactly same concept as you can tell as Tyrone Mings. But again, I think it is you know as a footballer, you can have anything you want in the world, really. But mm. what you want is something that can just illustrate your journey. Because it's yours and it's personal, mm. um, and I really enjoyed doing them. Um, I'd be more than happily happy to do that for more footballers. If yeah, you're, a very, you're a very good, uh, very good <laughs> storyteller, um, <laughs> and uh, I'm glad that I found those two bits because it's important in terms of that beginning part of your story. So, yeah, uh, I'm I'm happy that I found those. Uh, sorry, I missed them initially. Uh, Javi, again, this yeah. looks like a photo. This looks like a photograph, yeah. and then Thank this you. happens. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Absolutely, which is incredible. Know, yeah, I, like as soon as I got the opportunity to to draw him, obviously I found, I saw I saw the image and I was like, I love this image. Just with obviously the Camp Nou or Spotify Camp Nou nowadays, isn't it? But um, <laughs> whatever. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I just fell in love with the image, and then obviously 
once I had the opportunity come out, I, like, I think this is the one. Like, yeah, go for it. And then again, just went for it. Tried to just focus on extra details, you know, get the background. And if you look, if you're able to look online or my thing, you can see like put all the threading on the shirt in there. And I really went for it because I just knew, you know, he's, he was one of the best Spanish midfielders of all time. And well, if you get an opportunity to draw Javi, you've got to take it. <laughs> yeah. Part Messi, of the he's holy, right. the, the holy trinity, right? Javi and Yester right. Messi. That's yeah. not bad. Not he's bad at all. Yester. In the Esther. I th- yeah. that's, an email. that's an email after this there you go um <laughs> and then what a moment this is so jeff yeah yeah absolutely you know, again you know absolutely amazing you know world cup winner hat trick and all that it's great it's really nice bloke as well I, I personally haven't met him i've got one of them on my wall as well nice um, that'll be something i'll be treasuring very, i'm a very fortunate person to have the opportunities that i have I mean, it's a uh, it's a wonderful wonderful spot to be in, but you deserve it because your talent is ridiculous. He this Thank guy you. isn't having a good time right now. But is this another trophy? No. What was harder to paint uh, to illustrate the Champions League or the Copa America? The the the, the Copa America. There's just so much more going on. I mean, this was my like first trophy in the in the in, like with the where I'm at with my art, with my art. And all that. I don't in the past, but they were never quite to this sort of standard. So I really went mm-hmm. for this trophy. Um, and yeah, it took some time and again some colourful language, but it turned out better than whatever I thought it was going to be. But it could put me in good stead, you know. If everyone goes, "Hi, can you draw me with a trophy?" I'm like, yeah, but that's going to cost you double. It takes me ages. <laughs> <laughs> I'll share that with the Anfield rap guys. They'll they'll like to see oh, that. Spawn, thank they, you. They've missed it. And is this an earlier one too? Yeah, this so that was a... one. Yeah, so that was one of the, the one of the first ones in memorabilia that I did. Um, alongside Gerard as well, I thought I'd done like a group, uh, but yeah, Eric Cantona he signed that as well. Um, again, that's another Premier League legend. Brilliant and... stuff. And then I've saved these two, um, these few here. Uh, I mean, this is amazing. Thank you. I mean, yeah. I'm, I, I, my the listener's going to be like, so if I counted how many, t- if I had a shot every time you said amazing, I'd be absolutely <laughs> rat assed by now. <laughs> uh, but this is incredible. Obviously, one of the one of the greatest for a lot of people, the greatest. Yeah. Um, it's a wonderful, wonderful illustration. Well, I again, it was one of, like, trying to find really good images of Pele is it's actually quite difficult because of the, you know how long ago it was. But there's something about this. It was a good image to work from, um, but it still has that sort of 1960s feel to it. Mm. And I managed to figure out a way of drawing it. Um, which still gave it that feel. Um, I sort of stumbled it, you know, by accident. You got to experiment these things. But yeah, I found a way, and it seems to work. And that's the end result. Um, and I'm really happy with that. Really, really pleased with that. The eyes just set this piece alight. I mean, it really just draws you in. Thank you. The image is so iconic. Now, are you a glutton for punishment or what? <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to do to us? <laughs> uh, you know, it's yeah. Sorry, but uh, you know, with with that one, um, I think the first Maradona that I'd done. So maybe get I confused, have that. But, by the um, way, I love this. This is but, this is yeah. a Barcelona Maradona. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's again. I, it's just one of those things that just shows his attitude. If you know what I mean, he was he was such a talented person, just so like boisterous and such a huge personality on the pitch as well. And again, I just saw that and was like, yeah, I like that yeah. one. That but really that captures got, got, that really captures his personality. You could see like that is Maradona personified right there. Like, yeah. um, you know, don't care. I am who I am. Um, Absolutely. There's arrogance in it. There's confidence in it. Uh, it's just brilliant. But yeah, go back to this one real quick. I mean, yeah, I mean that that one took me. Very long time. I think that was probably the same amount of time as the Messi Cop America one because I knew how much of an iconic moment it was. Um, and if you can just get that right, it has huge potential. Um, and obviously, the plan, well, obviously, when we penciled this out, was obviously to go and get it sent over to Maradona, but obviously, he passed away. Um, so obviously, mm. that opportunity won't, won't happen. But you know, that's, it's actually one of my favorites because it looks very similar to the photo. And considering the heads are about two to three inches big um i'm really pleased with how i should capture pretty much everything um so yeah, yeah that's actually one of my favorites it's uh it's a great it's a great p- which is your favorite out of all the ones that um that i've i've shown uh, 
I think I think the Copa America, yeah, the Copa America one, be, just because of who it's for. The fact it's been signed by him. Um, mm. Apparently, really, apparently, really liked it. Um, and yeah, just the amount of detail that I put into it, amount of effort. Um, and it was really well received. And whenever we managed to get more prints signed, they just fly out. I mean, I think within 24 hours of the original going online, um, along with whatever prints we could get, I think they all sold out in 24 hours. It just went. And it, I know there's no advertisement. Well, this is the moment where he got the monkey off his back. Absolutely, yeah. And uh, it was so, the tears afterwards. I mean, it's such yeah. an iconic moment of a player that has just been... You know, you've got Messi, you've got Pele, you've got Maradona. You're missing Ronaldo. Is that is that deliberate? <laughs> well, I'm actually what what Cristiano or yeah yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> well, the original Ronaldo is yeah. the Ronaldo, but Cristiano. So I, so so uh, the Ronaldo is drawn. We're just going to see what can happen with that. That's out of my hands. Out of my hands. I've done my bit. <laughs> it's been on, it's been on Instagram. Um, but yeah, I. I do. I do my colouring in. It's down to everyone else to do their bit. That's, that's, what, that's what they do. That's what they're good at. I found this one too. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it's a. Bit, it's obviously me taking a picture of a picture in a frame. Sorry. <laughs> I, I love it. Par- I was around my parents. So what's that? Oh, I can't. Remember. What year would that be? That must be like late nineties. Yep. Sega. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually a, a, a kit that um, is a little underrated, maybe. Yeah, I like I was, the... that Sega one was good. Yeah, yeah. So who's who's is that? You and your dad? That's, that's my dad. Yeah, yeah. That was when he was based back in um, back in England. So he, you know, he managed to go and watch the odd Arsenal game. Um, yeah, he must. Yeah, they were good memories. Be really proud of you. Ninety nine, I think ninety nine two thousand is uh, the Sega, the Sega year. But yeah, I I feel sorry for my parents because growing up, I had every goalkeeper kit. Um, from the age of probably about 10 to about 16, and obviously with Llewellyn number one on the back, that must have cost him a fortune as well. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So you were into the goalkeeper swag, huh? Yeah, yeah, I was, yeah. So Love it. I've always, I think my granddad was a goalkeeper, um, and I, it's just one of those things I always, I'm rubbish out on pitch. Um, and to be fair, I didn't even know I'm a goalkeeper, I'm only five foot ten as well. Um, but yeah, I've always played, David C was my hero. Um, luckily, he's he signed like a portrait I'd done a few years ago, and I got a shirt just on the wall behind uh personalized to me i would love to meet david seaman I, yeah, I'd, cr- I'd crumble i'd, I'd just cry in his arms yeah so you would become fanboy if you met david I, gen- I generally yeah i think i would just because right. he was just like i used to watch like dvds for every game on a sunday when i was like 13 14 <laughs> just watch the same dvd i used to yeah model my game and you think when i was what 11 year 96 was around and obviously he was playing incredible you know obviously with the penalties and that and he was just yeah, Get that painting going, Dell. Make yeah. that thing come true. Well, it was the... terrible. I I drew like all over my folders. I I actually drew David Seaman in my garage. When asked him on the double in ninety eight, my parents allowed me to paint a whole mural all over my room for all the players. They were pretty terrible. Bless your parents. Yeah, they, they fully supported me. And like I said, if I didn't have that support to just be creative and do that, then would I have ever done it again when I'm older? I don't know. Maybe. Well, I mean, this has been absolutely amazing. Um, before I let you go, just real quick, in a nutshell, your thoughts. I think you've always been a Mikel guy. You're loving this yeah. season so far. Um, it's fun, isn't it? Football's fun again. It is fun again, yeah. And, and it's stressful for a different reason now. Um, yeah, I, I think I, when I mentioned, I think, on the, the Guns and Yellow Ribbons podcast earlier in the year. I, I love those guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fergus, I, I didn't meet do me trev but i think fergus then ruth beckart was on there as well and i just said you know you know mikhail's he's installed something you know he's installed a mentality and a belief and a way of playing and you've got to play for the badge and the club you know and he's proved that no one's bigger than the club and he's just changed the mentality i always liked i think it was his first interview when he was just like saying about his non-negotiables love that i love that I, i was you know i was brought up in an army you know home so you have non-negotiables right? oh yeah for <laughs> sure definitely um, um well look i well, mean it's been it's been so much fun you know talking to you and uh arsenal fans check out dell's work yeah. some brilliant stuff and you know if you have mates who love football and love icons then of course there's all this 
fantastic, you know, stuff that, that Dell's done, let your mates know. It's just brilliant. Just genius, genius. I mean, you're a genius. That's all I can oh. say. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. And um, where can people, f- I've got your handle up, but where else yeah. can people find you? Tell tell everybody. Yeah, sure. So obviously you've got the Wellen Arts on Twitter, then uh, the Wellen Illustrations on your Facebook and your Instagram. Instagram's probably better because obviously it's a more of a visual platform for art when the algorithm works for you. Um, and I've got on my website, which is www.llewellynillustrations.com. Nice and easy. But if you type in Del Llewellyn, my name should come up because there's not many, many of me, so that's all right. Um, and that's where you can find links to icons, all my products that are currently available. There'll be more stuff, lot, hopefully lots of new stuff over the next month or so being released, um, which I'm really excited to share with everyone, but I'm not allowed. <laughs> not yet, anyway. Okay. Um, and well, then you can, find, you can find links and hopefully new products as well that you buy directly from my website. Excellent. Um, well, we appreciate you and we appreciate the talented Gooners in our Arsenal community. Um, congratulations on all the fantastic work that you're doing you. and the fact that it's being recognised. And you're right. This is what football. This is the kind of stuff footballers life like love. I think at the end of the day, people forget. You know, they may, you know, they may have a ton of money and earn a ton of money, but at the heart of it, they just love being a footballer and the fact that they've made it and the journey. And yeah. it's all about storytelling. And you're a beautiful storyteller. So thank, thank you. Thank you for sharing your story with us. And you promise to come back soon. Absolutely. Hopefully, you know, maybe next. You know, beginning of next year, lots of things may have happened. Okay, we cool. shall see. Okay. Well, we're excited for you. Take care and we'll see you soon, guys. At E Squaddies, at E. <laughs> Mind the gap between the train and the platform. Please stand clear of the discussion doors. The next stop is Highbury Squad. <laughs>